Following an unfavorable court ruling, Royal Dutch Shell may be calling it quits in the Arctic, even though they've spent nearly 10 years and $6 billion preparing to drill there. What went wrong? After all, the industry can find and extract oil and gas underneath a mile of water. They're drilling sideways to exploit shale rock they once thought was worthless and squeezing crude out of Canadian sandstone. So why can't they get anything out of an area that's estimated to hold more than 20% of the planet's oil and gas resources? They may have the most advanced drilling rigs, but this place is covered in ice for most of the year, leaving a short window to operate. Climate change is melting some of that ice, but it's still a major force. A day after Shell's crew started digging preliminary wells in September 2012, they had to postpone operations to dodge a sizable ice flow. Even with open seas, Arctic weather can be a killer. In December 2012, one of Shell's drill ships got caught in a fierce storm and ran into an island where the Coast Guard had to rescue its crew. In these untested conditions, it's hard to know how to prepare for the worst. If there were a major spill, cleanup could be a nightmare. Dispersants and microbes that degrade oil don't work well in cold water. Any oil trapped under sea ice would be out of reach. And if workers get in trouble, the nearest Coast Guard station is more than 800 nautical miles away. With all of this talk of flowing crude oil and drilling rigs, you might forget there are people who call this forbidding place home. Native Alaskans depend on a healthy marine ecosystem and are already facing rapid climate change. In 2012, Shell agreed to delay operations for the bowhead whale hunt, but an influx of drilling activity could disrupt the habitat in ways we can't even predict. Shell isn't ruling out taking another shot at this. What's a few billion dollars in exploration costs to a company that made more than 100 billion in profit since 2008? Although by that time, maybe the world won't be desperate enough for oil to make it worth their while. After all, we'll have saved 12 billion barrels of oil by 2025 simply by improving the efficiency of our cars and trucks. That amount of oil is fully half of what Shell hopes to find off the coast of Alaska.